Welcome to Top 40 Network Admin and System Admin Interview Questions and Answers. There's a lot of crossover in technology between computer networks and systems, hence the need to combine the two in a video format that has been revised and updated. In this video, we will cover some of the most common questions that may come up during an interview. Some answers are simplified to provide easier understanding and education. Question number one, can you tell us about yourself? This question is very important as your first opportunity to sell yourself as the best candidate for this job. You have to make sure that this answer is tailored to the position at hand, meaning only talk about yourself and the relevance to this position. Question number two, explain the role of Windows Server. Windows OS Server acts as a centralized computer that provides specific functions and predetermined rules for computers, users, and components connected to a network. Question number three, what is Windows Domain? Windows Domain provides access to user accounts, computers, printers, and security features as part of database controlled by a domain controller. Question number four. What is a firewall? Firewall is a filter between two or multiple computer resources. It blocks any incoming or outgoing traffic. Firewalls can be in software or hardware forms. Question number five. What is TCP over IP? TCP is a transmission control protocol that deals with establishing a connection between computers before any data is being sent. In other words, it acts as a highway for data packets being sent back and forth used by various protocols, for example, HTTP or FTP. TCP also controls and sorts out the data packets receive order. Friends, instead of showing you an advertisement at this point, please take a moment to like this video or click the subscribe button. This tells me that you appreciate my effort in creating this video. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Question number six. Can you explain the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and is used by majority of websites as means of transmitting website data and it allows for use of hyperlinks. This protocol mostly uses TCP port 80. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP that allows for identity verification and low level encryption using TCP port 443. Question number seven, what is DNS and which port does it use? DNS stands for domain name system and it's mostly used to interpret domain names into numeric IP addresses. For example, domain name CosmicNovo.com, its IP address is 130.0. 211.160.109. DNS uses port 53 TCP or UDP. Question number eight. How many queries does a DNS perform and which ones? DNS can perform two types of queries, iterative and recursive. Question number nine. What is Active Directory? A service of Windows Server OS, Active Directory is used for user and computer authentication within a domain. It can also enforce security policies with use of GPOs, which, which can also be used to push software installs across domain. Question number 10. Active Directory database is located where? Database is under the file name ntds.dit and is located in the system root NTDS folder of the server. If interested, there is a written version located on my website at cosmicnovo.com. Question number 11. What is a lingering object? If an object is deleted from Active Directory while the main controller is offline, it can create a lingering object. When object is deleted from Active Directory, a tombstone is created, which means that it has to be replicated by the main controller before it expires. Question number 12. What is RAID? Stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks and is used to provide data redundancy across multiple hard disks. It can also be utilized to improve read and write performance across the server by using striping configuration. For example, RAID 1 two or more disks with identical data stored, RAID 0, two or more disks data distributed evenly to improve performance. Question number 13, which commands would you use in CMD to test network connectivity? To test network connectivity, ping, traceroute, or ipconfig commands can be used. Question number 14, what does IntelliMirror do? 
As part of Windows operating system, Intel Mirror provides assistance in managing user data, computer information, applications, and settings. This is configured with user group policy that defines business roles, group members, and locations. For example, if a user moves to a different computer, the application settings and stored files will follow. Question number 15. How do you back up Active Directory? Active Directory can be backed up using any backup tool that comes with 2003 server. With 2008 server, a command prompt is used to perform backup. You would type in WA admin space start space system state backup dash backup target colon e colon. You can also perform a full server backup through server manager. Question number 16. Do you know what garbage collection is? Garbage collection is a process designed to free space inside of Active Directory. This is performed by default every 12 hours. Question number 17. Do you know what SysVolume folder is? System Volume folder is a directory that houses a copy of the main files found on a local drive within the main controller. This data is shared for purpose of replication across the main, for example, user login script and Windows group policy. Question number 18. Explain what group policy is. A group policy is used to control users' desktop computer configurations and permissions by creating a template for specific groups of members. This makes it easy to control and process large groups of users. For example, tech support may have different security permissions compared to a regular computer users. Question number 19. Can you name different types of email servers and ports used? You can have two types of email servers incoming mail server, which are POP3, port 110, IMAP 143, and HTTP port 80. You can have outgoing mail server, which is SMTP port 25. Question number 20. What is the difference between forest and a domain? A domain is a logic-based group of computers, users, and devices within Active Directory. A tree is a collection of domains, in case there are multiple trees formed, a forest is created. You're doing great. As you can see, these questions can be easy or hard and can be explained in multiple ways. I am interested to read alternative answers, so feel free to pause the video and share your answer in comments below. All right, we have 20 more to go, so let's do it. Question number 21. Do you know what virtual machine is? Virtual machine is an emulation version of operating system. For example, you can have multiple copies of Windows running on a single computer. Question number 22. Do you know what tattooing the registry means? The group policy will make the changes to user's registry, but once the group policy is no longer in effect, registry values would not revert back, leaving them tattooed in. Question number 23. What is a proxy or proxy server? Proxy deals with filtering network traffic in a sense of preventing access to certain websites, and it can even monitor user web activity. It can block certain websites from being accessed, but it can also act as a measure of hiding the true origin at the point of access. Question number 24. Can you explain what UDP is? UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. Unlike TCP, UDP is constantly broadcasting a connection signal which can allow for faster connection speeds. With TCP, you have to wait for connection confirmation which takes time. UDP sends out data without, considering, without consideration of what is receiving it, sort of like radio signal. Question number 25. What is a loopback IP address? The loopback IP address is 127.0.0.1. As part of troubleshooting network connection issues, it is used to test network interface cards for functionality. So if you ping the IP address and it completes it successfully, it means that your hardware is OK. Question number 26. What is DHCP? DHCP stands for a Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The main function of DHCP is to handle distribution of IP addresses on a network. Typically, IP addresses assigned by DHCP servers are dynamic, meaning that they are released and released dynamically. 
with the exception of static IP addresses. To explain it further, if you connect a PC to a network, it will get a leased IP address, and if you disconnect or remove that PC, it will be assigned, assigned a new IP address at the new location. Question number 27. What is FTP and port used? FTP is a file transfer protocol used to transfer large files between computers with a built-in ability to pause transfer of data. Ports used by FTP are 20 and 21. Question number 28. What is SSH and port used? Also known as secure shell, is used to establish a secure connection between devices which can be anything from computers to switches. For example, you can use SSH at a cafe and connect to any device anywhere by establishing a configured secure shell tunnel between two devices, thus making the connection secure. Question number 29. What is maximum length of UTP cable allowed? The maximum length of UTP is 90 to 100 meters for a single segment connection. If you have a switch or repeater, it can compensate for this limitation. Question number 30. What are the layers of OSI model and how many? There are seven layers of OSI model, physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation, and application. Question number 31. What is the job of the network layer? Network layer deals with routing, stitching, and transmitting of data from one point to another. But this layer is also responsible for error handling and packet sequencing. Question number 32. Which types of network cables are used in networking? CAT5 runs at 100 megabits per second maximum. CAT5e can run up to 1 gigabits a second. CAT6 can run up to 10 gigabits a second. Speeds are rated at 100 meters maximum distance. Question number 33. What is a subnet mask? A subnet mask holds the information about the network and hosts addresses under a subnet. In order for TCP IP protocol to figure out this information, it looks at the 32-bit subnet mask number. Typical example is 255.255.255.0. Question number 34. Can you tell me the difference between a workgroup and a domain? With a workgroup, you can have a collection of systems that are connected to the same network, but have their own set of rules and permissions set at the local level. With a domain, you have a group of systems that are bound by the rules of a domain controller. Question number 35. Can you give an example of a DNS issue? If a host cannot be reached by its name over the network, but can be reached using an IP address, indicates a problem with DNS. Question number 36. How would you analyze connection between a local host and a server? A trace RT command is used to accomplish this test. Traceroute can provide detailed path information taken through switches, servers, computers in reaching final destination. Question number 37. What is IP config command used for? IP config command is used to determine DCP IP settings, DHCP configuration, DNS, default gateway, and subnet mask. It can also be used to change the local DHCP settings, for example, IP config forward slash release and forward slash renew. Question number 38. What is VPN? A virtual private network allows users to create a secure connection over public networks such as internet. This is commonly used by mobile workers in order to access companies' network from a remote location. Question number 39. What is a network switch? A network switch is used to create or control a network at physical layer in which multiple devices are connected and share data. This is accomplished by receiving, processing, and forwarding of data in form of data packets. Question number 40. Why should we hire you? Just as important as the very first question on the list, this is your last chance to tell this employer why you are the best choice for this position. You should talk about your experience and how you could use that to benefit the company. As bonus advice, before going for an interview, make sure you do your research about the company you have interview with. 
and a good place to start is taking a good look at the job description. If you need to study other aspects of IT, please check out my channel for additional guides. My channel is at youtube.com forward slash C-O-B-U-M-A-N. I hope this guide gives you the confidence that you may need in order to get this awesome job. I wish you good luck and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.